Hi, welcome back to In Judy's Kitchen. I'm Judy Walker from NOLA.com, the Times Picayune. And I'm Dia Chaco. I'm the search engine optimization and homepage producer. And Judy is teaching me how to make native New Orleans dishes. And this is a really, really Cajun dish today. Uh, it's called Cubillon, and it's not the French court bouillon, which is basically just a poaching liquid. This is a very uh, Cajun recipe. So my friend Cordell Louvier gave me like a master class in making this last summer in a condo on the Gulf Coast. It's a fabulous dish. It's a wonderful thing to make if you have a fisherman in the family going to bring you a nice big red fish. Yeah, anyway, if we're going to put these big chunks of fish, this is, uh, what did I say, redfish? I think so. In, uh, that I got at Cajun's uh, in a wonderful tomato sauce that we're going to make starting with the roux. And we're going to, we made a we broth made already. Stock. We made our stock. Yeah. And Cajun's also gave me a trout skeleton. Can you see that? To make our stock from. So that's going to add a ton of extra flavor. Of course, we got our Trinity. And the heat level includes some cayenne and some rotel. And Cordell said we want it to be just on this side of hot. Okay, so that's what the cayenne does. So, first we're gonna make a roux. Okay, Dia is going to make a roux. Yes. And um, on the last video we had some questions from commenters about why I'm using a whisk to make this roux. Um, rather than a wooden spoon, so. Okay, I told her. <laughs> so we are doing a quick cook roux. We are not doing the kind of roux where you have to stand for 30 minutes and stir it slowly. If you're gonna make that kind of roux, great. Good for you, use a wooden spoon. That's wonderful. However, because we are keeping this over high heat and we're keeping a very close eye on it, Dia is using a whisk in order to move more of the flour and oil around at once, which is harder to do with a wooden spoon. So what are you thinking, Dia? I think it's brown enough. You to think start it is? Okay. Putting our vegetables in. Okay. So here's the celery. Okay. Awesome. Here's your onions. Okay, so Dia has smothered down the vegetables in our beautiful roux, and now we're going to add the two cans of tomatoes and their liquid, and a can of original rotel. And I'm going to just add a little tiny bit of water to these cans and squish them around. I always like to do that and get the last little bit of juice out of there. So we're going to cook this until we see the top, but we're going to stir it occasionally. We're going to cook it until we see a thin film of oil rise to the top of this mixture. So you can sort of see how the oil has risen to the surface uh -huh, uh -huh. and like the little spots of grease and uh -huh. that's what makes it look like paper, okay. basically. So I understand what the recipe was calling for. Okay, So we cool. can add, I guess, the Okay. Stock so we're going to add our heated fish stock. Stir this dude in. Look how good that looks. And a tablespoon of salt. We use kosher salt. And just shy of a scant, scant teaspoon of cayenne. So this is great. So now we're going to let this cook for an hour till it gets a little bit thick, and then we will add the fish. So we have our beautifully simmered sauce now. And we're going to add the chunks of fish. And then we're going to sink them down in there. And then we're going to not stir. Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like making broth. We're just going to let them down in there to poach. And don't stir. <laughs> you can, you're just poking them down I'm in just there. Poking okay. Them. Yeah, that's all. <laughs> and, uh, you can, like we said, use any kind of fish. And because we don't want the fish to flake, this is only gonna take about 10 minutes to cook, okay? So we're gonna put that in there and put the lid on and um, set the timer for 10 minutes and then we'll check it. So 
So here we are. That looks really good. It is, it is. So we're gonna add our green onion tops and the parsley. And we add that and serve immediately. So we'll just mix that in very carefully so we don't mess up our fish chunks, which looks so good. And we've already got some brown rice in our bowls. So here we go. Let me give you another little piece of fish. And like I said, this is for the next person that brings you a fish. Make this for them and give them some. Okay? So how's it look? It looks really good. It really smells yummy, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. You can actually smell that it's spicy. Mm-hmm. But it's not too hot. It's perfect. Mm-hmm. It's so good. Mm. I think there's two. Thank you, Cordell. Thank you, Marcel. <laughs> thank you, Marcel's papa. Yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> this has turned out great. Thank you for stopping by in Judy's kitchen again. Thank you, dear. Thank you, Judy. See you next time. <laughs>